So we are leaving Feswick Beach and the lovely people of Feswick. And can you trust that you won't blow away in the wind? Who have been nothing if not unpleasant wherever possible. The one farmer we met coming in was, was friendly enough, but everybody else we've met who doesn't uh, live, so who does live around here has been really mean-spirited. So thank you. Welcome to the Northern Highlands and the old story, a handful of bad ones make it worse for the rest is absolute nonsense because 99.9% .9 of people I'm meeting are very good, uh, responsible tourists. Farmers getting the bales in, the hay bales. Shell and I are back on the A99 today because the coast road is just too harsh for us. It is. Sorry, I'm in head down walk mode at the moment. And that there is Keys Castle. Or oh, it's got a castle in Keys anyway. So we're just trying to work out how far we'd walked. We think because we were going along the coast and following all the ins and outs of the, um, the cliffs, despite this journey to Wick being listed as being 20 miles, 20 miles, Michelle? It's probably going to be quite a bit more. When they can, the drivers are always giving us lots of width on this road. And when they can't, we, we have to step off into the verge. So uh, it's a bit 50-50 at the moment. So we're just walking from a pub in Keys where we stopped to have a meal. I did a little live stream. We stopped to have a meal because we were, we're thinking there's nowhere to eat between where we were and Wick and we won't get to Wick. So um, we both, the cars go by, we're both really surprised because we ordered a modest meal, just uh, chicken, chips and a salad. Michelle had quick change of camera, batteries run out. So I ordered chicken and chips. Michelle ordered a chili, just a standard meal. Yeah. But we ate about half of it and we were... I didn't eat half of mine. No, <laughs> we couldn't pack anything away. And we've been walking like pretty exhaustedly for some time. We have had a few little snacks, but nothing major. And that's our only meal of the day. So we've taken it away with us. I bought it, I bought it along because we're not going to waste any, not when we need this sort of energy. Um, but that was weird. And then I'm walking down the road here. Sun's a bit bright in my eyes. Hopefully I'm not squinting. And lo and behold, a car pulls up just here and he says, Steve Owens. Uh, I hear this voice and I look round. There's a lad in a car smiling from ear to ear. And apparently he's a subscriber. Subscriber, he said. So he's been subscribing for the channel for a while. And um, yeah, what are the chances? Honestly. So it was lovely to meet him, Evan was his name we had a quick photograph and uh we've got a little way to go we know where we're going we though. know where we're going <laughs> roughly we hope so but this actually ahead of me now is a car park where when we were walking to john o'groats the lovely caroline and kenny picked us up i stuck me though out hoping something would happen but this lovely couple caroline and kenny do you want to say hello you two Hi. all right and dropped us at John O'Groats. It's not cheating because that was getting to the start line. Um, so yes, interesting day. Started a bit hard today. It was a tough morning. The tent was shaken. A farmer was screaming at us, screaming abuse, telling us that we weren't allowed to camp on this land where we were allowed to camp. Anyway, we won't spoil this moment. Oh, we've just walked from Fresne Bay to just outside of Wick. We stopped at the pub just a little earlier for food that we couldn't even eat because we were just, we don't seem to have 
an appetite. I'm just, Michelle's just doing the far, last little bits. This is the place we stopped at on the way up. So we've doubled there, but my feet are absolutely killing me. I, I'm just walking down here because I thought I saw another tent. Could be wrong, but um, Lord, I absolutely I can barely, my foot feels so bruised and swollen. I don't know why I'm walking down here. I could get into bed and just crash. But I'm intrigued just to see if my suspicions are right that someone's camped in the sheep field down here. I'll turn this off for now. So this here is actually the, the very field that Michelle and I walked down from that road. You can't even see it so far off. When we thought we saw uh, other people hiking and that turned out to be a Lynx golf field there, a golf course down there. And we walked all the way across this field and there's no one camping down here, look. We walked all the way across this field, past the sheep to that corner. Well, we realized halfway across there were golfers, but we wondered if we could cross the golf course, but I half knew we couldn't. That was one of the most Possibly one of the hardest parts of this walk, until today that is. <laughs> Every time we challenge ourselves a little bit more, my back is hurting. We walked, bless Michelle, she was exhausted. She, I had probably more energy than, than her, which is rare. Michelle is usually full of energy, but, um, she just she just looked down at the floor and walked, gritted her teeth for an hour, an hour and a half maybe, possibly even two. It's hard. The hours sort of blend together as you walk. Um, she was exhausted an hour ago. So when, this is barley by the way, in the field beside us, I don't think it's ready for the farmer to cut, so I don't think he'll hopefully be coming down here. So when we got here, we both just collapsed. Now, we got our energy back pretty quickly. We set up the tent. But walking, I just realized, I don't know if you can possibly see how pained. My coat is inside out, by the way. I know that because the coat itself, this, these have been brilliant, these fleece coats. The coat itself was ringing in sweat. Absolutely drip. It was dark in color. So I'm, I've just, I need it on for the warmth. And it's almost dry already, to be honest. It hasn't taken long. These have been fantastic, these down jackets. Michelle and I both said, these are one of the best investments we've made. <laughs> I know we've only been going for three days, but uh, they have been superb. We just cross out of this deep grass. So, Oh, I can't hold my hand up there any longer. All right, I'm going to sign off. We are knackered and we will sleep like logs. And please, please tonight, farmers, don't come and wake us up and shout at us. You know, we're not doing any harm. See you later. Sammy! Sammy Beavers! From oh. Nottinghamshire! All right. Fire and rescue! All right, Sammy. Yeah.